Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today, we are building the Blood Fort. This build will be using mods, all of which will be down in the pinned comment below. This build took a very long time. I spent upwards of 10 hours just decorating the build the other day, so this will of course be a speed build. I'm going to talk through some of my inspirations and ideas for this build, and then when construction is complete we'll have a cinematic fly through of the finished, furnished build. So it's been a little while since my last castle build, and in general I haven't really done that many castle or fortress designs in quite a while. I went through a period of building quite a few of these castles, and honestly kind of burnt myself out on designing and building them. However, I do really like building castles. They are usually pretty fun to build and really flexible in terms of the themes and decoration you can go for. For this design, I actually got the inspiration for this build from Pinterest. I've had a Pinterest account for probably the best part of 10 years and I've never really used it for anything. But I've been taking a look on there for the past few builds and it turns out it's actually a good resource to get build ideas for a huge variety of different themes. I know it can be pretty hard sometimes to think of interesting build designs, so I'd say to definitely try Pinterest out if you are struggling with ideas. As I said I've had mine for the best part of 10 years and never really used it, but it is a useful resource if you're looking for something new. Whilst constructing this build I had a fairly simple design in mind. I wanted a heavily defended rectangular wall to establish the fort, with turret towers at regular intervals on the walls to facilitate stronger defensive positions. Each tower should be accessible from various points in the wall, or the courtyard itself, and the front two corner towers should hold trebuchets sighted in on the plains ahead of the fort, which would be the main path for any attackers. Alongside that, the gatehouse would help to slow any potential attackers, allowing soldiers on the roof of the gatehouse to pour boiling oil or hot pitch down on anyone trying to breach the gate. Alongside the cauldrons and trebuchets, the gatehouse roof would allow soldiers to fire arrows down on attackers, and to use the ballistas on the roof to take out horses, rhinos or elephants, reducing the mobility and damage potential of any attackers. The whole defence of the build is built around this gatehouse and this sort of hardened front of the castle. However, should that fail and the gatehouse be breached, the courtyard inside the castle and the various defensive positions on the roof should help to push attackers back or at least kill the majority of them. That being said, within the walls I intend to have a decent sized courtyard. I don't really build in the savannah too much, but the area is nice and lush, so keeping that natural element should be a nice way to sort of diversify the build. I'm intending to have some wall access points within the courtyards through the towers, along with a few different buildings including an armory, blacksmith, storeroom, smelting station, and a great wheel of pain in the centre of the courtyard. Finally with the keep I'm hoping to have a fairly simple design. The castle won't have too much intricacy when it comes to design, as I want everything to look very simple yet brutal, so the keep should be the same. It'll be a decent sized square or rectangle, with corner and central columns on the exterior wall to give it some depth and shape, with a nice asymmetrical room design on the interior. I will mention when I built the keep I did initially design it to be somewhat symmetrical, though I did later change that as you'll see in the fly through later on. I was initially tempted to populate the fort with Terranian or Kitan soldiers, however I've used characters like this quite a bit lately, so I wanted to go for something new and thus I chose Poitain. This choice definitely evokes a more interesting feeling for the build, as Poitain is a very stereotypical knight design. Alongside the regular Poitain soldiers, I've also included craftsmen and workers in clothing of a similar colour scheme, and a special class of Poitain soldiers nicknamed the Ghouls, who wear black and gold Poitain cavalier armour with a skull mask, and are known for their proficiency in torture, kidnap and combat. For the decoration, I wanted to go for a lively and busy decoration style similar to my Viking castle build from quite a while back. I also really wanted the decoration of both the build and the outfits of the soldiers to reflect the heat and humidity of the savannah environment, which helps to build a nice atmosphere within the fort. In terms of lore, I came up with what I think is a fairly interesting story for this build. Currently, the Blood Fort is occupied by Poitain soldiers, but it wasn't always that way. The Blood Fort has been held by various different battle lords over time, 
and some say the fort has stood for centuries. The Poitains managed to take the blood fort from the Stygians, but many battles have been fought within the walls of the fort. The blood of countless soldiers and lords have saturated the stone of the fortress, giving the fort its name. The blood fort is notorious for being extremely hard to besiege, and even harder to do so successfully. Some say that the souls of the men killed within the blood fort remain within the walls, the blood hardening the stone and making it more resistant to attacks. So I think that is about all for this build. As I mentioned earlier, I'll let the rest of the build run so you guys can see the construction process, and then there will be a cinematic fly through of the finished build. With that being said, all of my links for the Discord, Twitch, Twitter, Patreon, NordVPN etc are all in the description, and the full list of mods and their load order are in the pinned comment below. Thank you very much for watching, of course thank you to all the patrons, and enjoy the rest of the build.